guys, welcome to Hot Diggity Dog Series 2. I'm home, I'm back in Cardiff. I was born and bred here, I love it. We're in Wormody Street, Optic Club, Iverbach. We've got the new dog house we're going to be pulling in now. We've got the Cougar Lounge. Come on, let's see who's in here. First off, let's get the four street traffic in. How are you doing, boys? Thanks for coming on again. No problem. Thanks for having us. Hey, no worries. Last time we got to sit the sofa and you talk about your tracks and whatever. But what have you been doing since then? I know you've been really busy. Uh, she was working gigging on the weekends, drinking on the weekends, everything really. Drinking you know. and gigging on the weekends, yeah. pretty much everything we want to do. What are you up to this weekend? Then? You said you're doing something. Uh, we're doing a couple of cover, cover gigs this weekend. We're doing a brewery quarter on Saturday. We're doing live lounge, I think, on Saturday night. Hopefully, if we have a good place. Yeah, yeah it's a big good place. Which one is it? I mean, we were meant to get you on the show a couple of weeks ago, but somebody was ill, wasn't it? Yeah, me. Yeah, sorry. What was wrong with you? Oh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Lifestyle <laughs> catching up with me, I think. What are you going to play for us today, guys? Um, we'll do second thoughts off the album. Second thoughts, yeah. all right. Yeah. Right, let's give it up for a great band. Four Street Traffic and Second Thoughts. Come on, let's go. <laughs> There's a fire inside me, it burns right too. Can you feel it? Can you see it? When I bow down to you, there's a heart that beats in me, and I'll just assume you can see it. Forget me, forget me, reject me, reject me, but can we work? This out, work this out. Don't hate me, don't hate me. You made me, you made me wanna work this out. Work this out, and it's been too long, too long without you. I'm fine without you, or oh, so. Sure. I am wrong, I'm wrong without you, you'll find no child, you don't get second thoughts, if you don't speak I'll never know, if you don't leave now, you're never gonna go, please believe this, wrong without you, you'll find don't get second thoughts So what more can I say? What more can I do for you now? You're fine, no doubt You're fine, no doubt So I thought I am wrong I'm wrong without you You'll find no doubt You don't get second thoughts Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't get second thoughts whoa.
All right, guys, that was forced through traffic. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Right, we're going back to the, uh, as usual, in the doghouse. It's the new doghouse, the Cougar Lounge. We are going to be doing some cooking here as well. Hopefully, once the fire alarm's off. As you can see, there's two semi naked firemen missing. I have got a replacement for them. Two inanimate objects is about good for them, so <laughs> two toilet rolls, that's it. They're actually away. One's away on holiday, the other one's away on camp. They're getting a, um, what they call it, a pedic pedicure and a penis extension, I think it is. But, um, <laughs> I'm getting. Right? Cubs go back. Did you get those for those? I oh, know, anyway, right, okay, well, yeah, fair one. right, I'm using John's house at the minute, what do you know, Sean is going to find this later, but I'm wearing your underwear, Sean. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to Reese. Right, Reese from Dizzy Lama. Dizzy Lama. Ed, right, thank you very much for coming in, mate. What are you cooking? It looks delicious. Well, what I'm going to do is a bit of a fusion between uh, Mediterranean and uh, some Asian food, so I'm going to uh, fry up some onions uh, with a bit of sherry and got a bit of uh, nice steak here, uh, chopped up some uh, some rough peppers and a bit of raw broccoli and some basil and tomatoes as well, so it's going to be a nice crunchy dish in a nice sweet sherry sauce. Grandma's own. Right, I'll leave you to it. Uh, how long is it going to be? Uh, be about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and when, when, what part of the stage do you put the, um, the sauce in, hot diggity dog sauce? Oh yeah, oh. don't mustn't forget the hot diggity dog sauce. Oh, hot diggity dog sauce! That's the hot part. That's just as much That's cheesy a surprise. as you could possibly say that, are you wouldn't it? <laughs> going to go across now and interview some guys. Um, we've got some Cardiff Devils players in tonight, Shannon Hope, who I remember from my youth. They probably won't thank me for that one. And uh, we've also got Tyler and Michelle in as well. We're going to go across the sofa and have a chat with them now. Hey, it's the Devil Mania. We're down in the Devil Mania zone. Ah, thanks for coming in, guys. Cheers. Pleasure having you here. Are you guys going to be doing the Chilling Challenge? No, you're not, are you? Because you've got a, a game coming up soon on Saturday. Yeah, no, I'm not taking part in that. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people say no around here, so... Yeah, fair one. We, they, yeah. they kind of see what happens on the previous series. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so uh, I'm just going to watch this time around. So obviously you're not from Cardiff then? No, I'm uh, from Canada. I'm living in Toronto, Ontario right now. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys from the same place then originally? Yeah, Sudbury, hometown, same place of all the places uh, in the world. Yeah. The Rock, closest place to the moon you're ever going to get to. Well, pretty much. He's kind of from the boonies, like the outskirts, you know. I'm like a true Sudburyan. He's So I'm taking it as a bit like banter between Cardiff and Barry then? Yeah. A bit like that. Yeah, yeah you, exactly. you don't go out to Basbury. He doesn't Cardiff. get the mix Yeah, we won't hold it against back. him though today. <laughs> but you've been in Cardiff quite some time now, Chan. Yeah, yeah, I remember no. years, 80, 86 and... They start kicking off the, the devils. Back. Feels I got more gray hair than Ty, obviously, but uh, no, I get. I came over in uh, '87, '88, and uh, so 22 years, 23 years. And you still have lost so, your accent, man. Working on it, trying you're to keep it. it. Yeah. Gonna, my Welsh is getting better. You speak Welsh? Are you taking lessons? No. Or yaki uh, Dada's. Yaki Dada, that's it. That, that's and enough. Then, uh, I can, I can do the anthem almost, but I won't sing it today. But uh, over the years, when you, you, you hear it, yeah, yeah. Not today. After the chili challenge, maybe. Well, you actually used to captain the Devils, didn't you? Like an army. Yeah, I used to win all the time. When you see all those awards, yeah, all those all that, up yeah, there, well, that's what I played. I so. used to go down and all. Was well, I was about this big. That's exactly. Well, <laughs> no. I was just 12 when I started. <laughs> I, I think he still wears the C in the office, you know, just trying to boss around everyone. Just yeah, I'm right. the captain still. Really? Yeah. Not bad, not bad is it? You can't can you, let it go. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Where's Johnny all these days? Where, where's he jo Johnny's back in Toronto, and uh, I, I see him quite a bit when I go home. Yeah. And uh, he's a fantastic guy. He's going to come over. There, there's a 25th anniversary for the Devils this year. Right, okay. It's um, taking place in 27th of August. So we're going to have a game against Sheffield Steelers old-timers. Yeah. So Johnny's heading up a team. So I've been in contact with him. Getting along a lot of our old guys back, like Ivan Matulik and Mike McWilliams, yeah, Mike Ware, yeah. those guys. So they're all going to come back over for uh, the vets. For, for a weekend of terror. It's, it sounds like it. Now, <laughs> I heard about you. I mean, it's bad enough on your ice anyway. You, obviously, it's, it's quite a, a rough, ragged, yeah. tough sort of game. Yeah. I've, I've played a little bit, and I know where you're standing. But obviously, with the, explain to the guys now about the fighting. What, what's the rules and regs with the fighting these days? Okay, he's been. He's been. <laughs> I was going to say. He's been he, boxing lately. He did, he yeah. Did Ask about that question. He oh, nobody was the boxing. Well, I was coming on to next. He's <laughs> boxing as well. You've been doing. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. I mean, um, I got to teach him. Nicky Piper asked me to take part in this boxing event. It was for a charity. So, I mean. Basically, anytime someone wants, to, uh, or anytime I have a chance to get involved with a charity, I'm going to be down for that. So, um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, <laughs> though, to be honest with you, because I stepped in the ring with this guy, and I was a little intimidated. And I found out after the fight that he had fought 60 times prior, and I had sparred one time prior to that. So and got knocked out. Yeah, he, he was not going to mention you got knocked out. Right? <laughs> yeah. when you sparred the time. Yeah, but I'm sure you mentioned it. The yeah. first time I sparred, I, my teammate actually knocked me out. <laughs> So he gets. Yeah, he won that battle. Um, well, clearly, yeah. You're but for the but you know what? Again, it was for a charity. 
and I went in with the mentality not to get hurt and I'm walking today and I played on the weekend so it was, yeah, it was it's good. I remember when I was in the Navy there was a, a PT guy called Brian he used to train the guys and one of the boxers got injured he knocked out so Brian stepped into the ring yeah. and uh, after the first ring he pretty much sat down the same lean out the ring he said I'll give you a tenner if you ring that bell early next time Yeah, it, it's, it's a tough old sport eh? well one of my teammates took a bad hit earlier in the period and um, he stood up for me uh, earlier in the season so I just wanted to you know, be a good teammate and you know, stand up for him. So I went after the guy that uh, gave him a dirty hit, I thought, anyways. Yeah. And I guess I got a pretty good jump on him, and they called it sucker punch. I still think it was pretty questionable. But uh, Shame that I, I think so. my, intentions, <laughs> my intentions were Honorable, in, the right, in the right yeah. place. But, on the end uh, of his nose. I would, looking back, I'd rather be playing, you know, instead of being in the stands for the five games. And, I, and it's it's quite funny because Tyler's not really known for going out there and fighting. No, he, he's Mello not your sort of uh, your sort of enforcer type character, and it's like that in a team sport. What you tend to do is you tend to protect guys. Yeah. So if we're playing together, unless I'm playing with Ty and and Ty will get a cheap shot, where I think mm, that's not quite right. Well, then I would jump in and start start going. And uh, it's funny you say you had the five game. I, I've actually packed in a 17 game band once. So it's, which, which what the hell was that for? And that was as you that the was, coach afterwards. That was shaking hands after uh, after a game because I I remember at the time my my wife at the time said whatever you do because this guy hit me dirty the game before yeah, so yeah, she yeah. said whatever you do no trouble during the game so I said fine so I went up and played it was against Nottingham so I got up fine play the game shaking hands I said you can do that again I said and he goes let's go so I I absolutely well, shaking hands time. at the end yes. Right? So I ended up, yeah, he was cut all over the place, and they thought I headbutted him. And I, I just said, I would break my nose if I headbutted him. So uh, not that I ever had broken my nose. But was there was an incident where in Sheffield against a guy called Jamie Leach. Um, I, I sort of caught him high with a stick across the cheek and yeah. gave him 17 stick, stitches and broke his cheekbone. But he, he, he did sort of hit me first and so is I, I you, you allow that one retaliation and there's a there's a pattern coming here yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I he, I sort of caught him a, a, a bit weak so I'm thinking okay I caught him a good shot in the wrist so I said I'll let that go and he gave me a shot back and then ended up coming back and he gave me another whack I thought that wasn't right so I went to give him a whack and I caught him a bit high and and anyway caught him in the cheek I said sorry I said sorry mate. there's a few tickles here and there yeah. exactly Absolutely. well listen guys thanks ever so much for coming today good luck on Saturday let's Thank keep in touch and let us know what's going on and yeah, um, if you see Paul Reagan tell him I'm after him <laughs> I'm gonna get older. I'll tell him. Guys, thanks I'll so much for coming on. Cheers. Right, no worries, right. Cheers. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. Look after Cheers that. Nose, eh? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Alright, guys. Shannon and Tyler. Thank you very much. Right, finish, Tyler. We're back over here now. That's my favourite part of the show. We've got the uh, the chili challenge, which is 150 grams of pre cooked, unseasoned chili con carne. One whole bottle of hot diggity dog hot pepper sauce. Come on, guys. Get it in there. Get the rest of the bottle in there. Whole bottle in there. That's it. Chuck it in. Yeah, that was Pre, your tape. Pre, right, okay, now bottles down. Let's start mixing. Now this is going to be timed. I think the leader was, who was it? Uh, uh, Martin? Martin Cuban, 12.86 yeah, yeah. seconds. Right, I'll, I'll give you a three, two, one, and a go. On go, you start eating, all right? Are you ready? No. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Right, go, guys. Yeah, let's go. Go, Reese. Go, Reese. Go on, guys, keep going. It's all the paper in the fridge, guys. Hey, well done. I don't know what the time is where Vicky got the time is, but well done for the chili shot. Right guys, going back to it, what we've got is this is now the winner, we'll find out in a minute, the Chili Challenge is sponsored by Dine Out Wales, as you can see here. I've done that here, clap this thing to death. There's a card inside, you get that for a year, you pretty much get 50% off any restaurant uh, in and around Cardiff, about 130 restaurants, it's well worth it. Have a look at the website, dineoutwales.co.uk, sorry, .com, not, but, yeah, dineoutwales.com, sorry, not the .uk. Have a look at it, check it out, sign up, it really is worth every penny. That's the end of part one, we're going to come back. Please don't forget to click on part two somewhere on the screen. I never get it right, it's there, but make sure you watch part two because we've got some more amazing bands and guests coming up. <laughs>